In this video, I want to change the way our application looks as far as the colors using one of the default Android themes that we have available. Now when you're creating an application, it's recommended that you use the Holo themes that Android has because it provides a consistent interface between apps that the user should find familiar. So if I switch over to the activity main.xml and take a quick look at it, you can see that it has a darker color action bar where the app's name is located as well as the launcher icon. And then we've got this white background that the application is built upon. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. And you can see with the drop down arrow up here where it says app theme. If I hit the drop down arrow, I can see how other themes would look on my application without actually making the change to the application itself. So this is just for a preview. If I hover over the Holo, I can see quite a few different options that I have to change the way it looks. If I hover over Holo Light, I can see some other options. So if I just go to Holo and I just choose Theme Holo, you can see now that my application has a black background as opposed to the white, and it looks a little bit different. Still keeping the same action bar up here with the app name and the icon for the application, but it just makes the application look a little bit different. Now, as I mentioned before, this is just for a preview. This doesn't actually change the application's theme. So if I go back up here, I can go ahead and select app theme again, and it will go back to the default color scheme that we had. So where do I actually make the change? Well, if we go to the Android manifest file, so I'll go ahead and restore this down and open up the Android manifest file for this application. Now, once it loads, I can either make the change in the application tab or in Android manifest.xml tab. And if I look at the XML, you can see that I have the theme attribute right here for my application at style and then you'll see forward slash app theme. Now I can actually make the change here if I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and make my change in the application tab. So if I look for the theme, which you can see right here, it's referring to a style called app theme. I'm going to change this. I'll go ahead and hit browse and I can either make a new style or look within the system resources. Let's go ahead and look within the system resources. And if I scroll down I should be able to find theme. And then look for holo. All right, so here's theme holo and then the different options that I have for the theme. I'm just going to go ahead and select the standard theme holo and hit OK. And you'll see it, it will make the changes here within my Android manifest file. I'll go ahead and click on the XML tab and then you can also see that the changes were made here as well. I'm going to go ahead and do control S to save my application and let me go ahead and go back to the activity main.xml. Now you'll look here, you'll notice here that the application still looks the same the way that it was. If I hit the drop down arrow and select theme holo, it'll go ahead and switch that over for me so I can see what it looks like with the theme. Now let's go ahead and double check by running our application and seeing how it looks on the actual emulator. I'll choose Guitar Tuner. Okay, my application has loaded and you can see that now the changes have been applied to my application as well. Alright, in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and continue working with this. I want to take a look at this action bar that we have up here and make some changes to that.